Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales. And today, we are revisiting something that we touched upon a couple of weeks ago. So, a few weeks ago, we reviewed uh, Ghost Coast uh, Spiced Rum. Tiki Spiced Rum, to be exact. Mm -hmm. And while we were coming up with ideas to name the cocktail that we created. What did we end up calling that cocktail? The Tybee Island Grog. All right, when we came up with the Tybee Island Grog, I had an idea for another cocktail, but I didn't want to say anything until we were ready to actually tackle it. And today is the day. So what do you got for us? Um, well, I already know I'm going to call this the ghost ship. All right. The ghost ship cocktail. Mm -hmm. It will be hopefully tiki. Um, and it's going to deviate a little from the previous, the, the Tybee Island rock. Right. In that I'm changing out one of the ingredients and adding in a couple of others. Okay. So get ready, you guys. Um, we are starting off with our juice of half a lime, mm -hmm. and I'm also going to add our Chinese Five Spice Simple Syrup. Now, did we have that last time? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. okay. We did. It's going to be half an ounce of that. Okay. To get us going. Mm -hmm. And now that the baby stuff is out of the way, we can get it going. So... Maybe we want to start off with the ingredients we know. Okay. Ooh. So we're going to do Velvet Falerno, mm -hmm. which is going to be 0.25 ounces. Okay. Or a fourth of an ounce, if you want to get Technica. It's your show, man. <laughs> you do whatever you like. 0.25 ounces okay. or a fourth of an ounce. You drive, I'm just a passenger. Just to let you know it's a tiki cocktail. Mm -hmm. You know, and the, the rest of the stuff we're gonna add is in. Okay. Next, we are going to add our Gulf Coast. Okay. Gulf Great. Coast Tiki Spiced Rum. Mm -hmm. That will consist of one full ounce. Then we're gonna add the replacement. So in the Tybee Island Grog, mm -hmm. we had Indago Gin. Right. And that worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Mm -hmm. This time around, we are going to use crack and spice rum. All right. So two spice rums. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's any, uh... oh, yeah, this is uh, the heavy stuff right here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the and that's an ounce. Yes. Okay. Normally that would be it, but mm -hmm. there's more. Okay. So this isn't a ghost ship. We can't call this a ghost ship unless we kill somebody. Okay. So <laughs> Adding yet another rum. Mm -hmm. Oh, Grand Nephew's Overproof White Rum. Oh, wow. <laughs> but we'll go soft on you guys. We'll only do half an ounce. Okay. You are really trying to make a ghost. And that smells really good. You get the banana notes from that. Mm hmm. But you had Grand Nephew's before. So yes, I, I have. <laughs> Now we are going to add our ice. You know, and cooperate. Mm -hmm. We are going to add our ice and give it a shake. Mm -hmm. 
This may not feel it to the top, but uh, damn it, we gonna try. Because as a ghost ship, I assume that uh, the people would have died by hitting a iceberg. Or whatever. <laughs> The preferred garnish mm -hmm. would be a tattered pirate flag. Mm -hmm. But we're just going to do a lime wedge. Mm -hmm. Can I make one more addendum? Go ahead. Can we throw a couple of maraschino cherries in there? Sure. Sure, Ike. Sure. <laughs> Stranded, he won't last long because there's no food to eat. You see, because he's stuck on a mm -hmm. on an iceberg. That's what you do. That's what you get. When you I, I have to say, aesthetically looking, it looks it looks great. Mm -hmm. Um, can't wait to see what it tastes like. Although I'm positive it's just gonna be all wrong. <laughs> but um, let's let's do it. Pretty good. Despite it being mostly rum, there's a lot of flavors dancing around in there. I like it. All that tells me is, like a ghost, you can't see it coming. <laughs> the Ray and Nephews mm -hmm. gives you banana notes. Mm -hmm. The Kraken, mm -hmm. the Falerno, mm -hmm. and the Chinese Five Spices gives you that sweetness along with that. I want to call it a funk, as it were. Mm -hmm. like, like that curves out. It's not a bitterness. It's more like some people describe the flavor as a funk, mm -hmm. but it's more like a, a curving, a curving flavor for all the sweetness. Right. You get a little bit of citrus in here, but I'm thinking that's okay. I think that's perfect because, like, you want it to just be a linger. At least I would want it to just be a linger. Everything about that drink should be subtle but strong. The Kraken, I wasn't expecting the Ray and Nephews. I know we talked about doing this drink. Mm -hmm. You must have came up with the Ray and Nephews at the last minute. I Because this is rum on rum on rum. Mm -hmm. And Ray and Nephews is a higher proof, right? Yeah, yeah overproof. Overproof? Yeah. Okay. And that particular Kraken, can you pass me that bottle? This is black, yeah, this is 94 proof. So the the conceit is for that to be a really boozy drink. And I think we- Well, a lot of tiki uh -huh. drinks are. Yeah. Like they incorporate three, even four types of rum and alcohol and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But they're curved with all the sugar and citrus that you associate with the tiki flavor. Mm -hmm. So like a lot of these drinks sneak up on you, mm -hmm. as it were. Mm -hmm. If you're not careful and you're just drinking freely and you order more and more and more, like these type of drinks will get you. Mm -hmm. But they're flavorful nonetheless. Two additions and they're really options. Mm -hmm. The first one is, um, This lime wedge, mm -hmm. before you put the lime wedge on here, mm -hmm. rim the glass with the lime. So you can get that essence of lime when you first taste it. And my second one, also an option, 
uh, this maraschino cherry. I would put one, well, you know what? Oh, well, it is an option. I would put one regular maraschino cherry and one of the real maraschino cherries mm -hmm. to get different color profile and they do they they kind of taste the same they mm. more or less mm -hmm. like you're getting a different flavor from the from the other type of cherry mm -hmm. like this is more there. of a this is more of a candied cherry man mm -hmm. this is more of a candy cherry mm -hmm. the other one is more i don't know how to describe it but and needless to say you associate those other cherries mm -hmm. more with cocktails with traditional cocktails mm -hmm. once again like i said option yeah i like this for anybody so For those that like those strong drinks, mm -hmm. but still want to do tiki, mm -hmm. I feel like this works. Because mm -hmm. you get more of the funk with that sweetness behind it. Mm -hmm. And just a hint of citrus to curve the flavor. Mm -hmm. Not to mention all the alcohol behind it. So, I don't know when it is but isn't there like a, a pirate holiday i believe so but i think that's like in the summer or something like that i don't know okay so i'm gonna put this out here i hope i don't forget mm -hmm. but when that pirate holiday comes around mm -hmm. um i want to make these again and i'm going to do a tasting board a charcuterie board with it. It may not even be a board. It may just be like a themed snack. Cause I got some ideas. Okay. I got some ideas. I would say this was very successful. This is a great drink for a summer. And like you said, tiki drink. That, that, that's a great tiki drink. With that being said, that'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you're notified of all content that comes to the channel. Also, check us out on Instagram and check us out on Twitter. Couple of announcements. What have we been saying for a while? If you know of a spirit, liqueur, beer, wine, some type of snack type situation that is pretty obscure, few people know about it, or we just don't have access to it in this country or this state or this city, hit us up in our DMs. Let us know about it. If you can send it to us, that would be a plus as well. Also, to go hand in hand with that, um, if you're if you know places you know that you think we will enjoy if it's some weird bar or some fun bar or some bar with great drinks or a restaurant or maybe like a distillery anything if you know anything like that that you think we would enjoy going to let us know maybe it's just your watering hole down the street from where you live let us know we would like to go mm -hmm. we're we're traveling in 2021 mm -hmm. safely of course mm -hmm. and we want to get out there and we want to the 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 point of drink tales is to explore exactly um one more thing by the time this video has come out you guys will already have probably seen it on our instagram but we have a winner for our one year anniversary contest exactly and that prize should be in the mail on its way to our winner right now so congratulations um want to throw the name out it's gonna be right here okay congratulations and we we plan on doing more 
giveaways like that. They, 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 calm, everybody calm down. Exactly. I, I can see everybody's <laughs> like, oh my God, next time. Everybody calm down. Mm -hmm. I can't see you, but I can feel you. Calm down. We, we, this this won't be a, a every week thing, but we're we're gonna do we're gonna do more throughout exactly. the year. Because how else will you guys get through 2021 unless someone gives you free alcohol? <laughs> exactly. And 2021, I feel like one 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 of the reasons we did this one year anniversary giveaway or decided to kick the year off that way is because 2020 was it was a it shitty sucked. year. It mm -hmm. sucked. Everybody caught L's all around. Mm -hmm. If you were winning in 2020, that's because you were already winning. So no one cares that you were winning. Shut up and go over there. Exactly. Now, <laughs> now if you were winning in 2020 mm -hmm. and you had been losing up until that point, mm -hmm. congratulations. congratulations. You, you won. You, <laughs> you started winning maybe, when everybody was losing. Maybe being unemployed worked out for you. Maybe hey, hey. it was that big come up that you needed. Exactly. I know some businesses got started, especially within the liquor industry. Or maybe you were, or maybe you were struggling and struggling to get something out, and then 2021 happened, and that's when it popped off. Mm -hmm. Those are the people that I'm like, good job, good job. Exactly. But if, but if, if, if you if you were always winning, and then 2020 happened, and mm -hmm. Then you, you were still winning. <laughs> then you want some more. Get out of here. Exactly. Like, like th this is this is why the stock market is the way it is now. Exactly. But, but, but I'm not gonna throw current events into this. But I am. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we we want to do our part to at least make people a little bit happier, mm -hmm. even if just for a moment, mm -hmm. and even if you drink it all up and forget it and you know sometimes forgetting can be happy <laughs> yeah. sometimes you got to run away from your problem exactly not, not forever all, not forever <laughs> not all the time but you know like maybe for an hour or something like that it, i don't know exactly but you know all jokes aside you know we're going to be doing this at least a couple of more times throughout the year we haven't decided for what and when you know but we'll just when it happens, it'll happen. And you guys better be ready. Mm -hmm. we, we got plans for 2021. Yes, indeed. So until next time, everybody, be safe and make this drink. Drink it and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But also, peace.